hey guys welcome back so we have created the index page for the group chat right so here is our index page so i'll copy from conversation.bredit.php i'll copy everything and i'll manage there right uh, you can make a reusable component as well because most of the things are reusable here so for now i'll copy the whole file and paste it so this is our group chat right so we need users we, we don't need to change anything here this is fine and this is group section we don't need to change anything here as well so here is the uh, chat header section so uh, instead of displaying uh, a username we need to display the name of the group here so here will be we have sent we have sent current group here so we can use this variable current group so that will be current group name and we don't need whole section this so let's remove it we need exactly the same here and same as well same so let's make it uh, column 6 because I'm going to add column D here 3 here keep that column MD 3 I would like to display the current uh, the current members of the group so that that will be more clear right so for that if set we've sent current group and message group members so we can use this relations if we set current groups message groups members for it as member So first of all, let's display the group name here, current group. And then here, UL class equals to list group. And then copy this here list group item so here make image from name member member user name you 
also need to check uh, if uh, member has user right so So let's see the changes. Message group members. So call to undefined receive message group members. Let's check this. Message group. So, so what is the mistake? Oh, so yeah. This should be message group members. And now again call to undefined receive user and model app message group member. So let's check it out message group members so we need to define user and message group members actually belongs to user right so return belongs to undefined variable friend info yes now we need to update update the whole page so let's close this and this as well So let's check at the bottom so everything looks good until up to here everything looks good and here is the friend info we don't need actually friend info here we need group ID instead right so remove this group ID would be Current group ID and also the group name. Current group name so this is okay this is fine we can remove this as well we don't need this here So we need to update this function as well, send message functions. So instead of receiver ID, we need group message ID here. Message, message group ID and the message group ID would be the group ID.
right so also we need to change this whole function so let's go to the message controller so let's copy this functions for now so send send group message and so we need message group id here since the receiver id is not required anymore so maybe we, we need to make the receiver id nullable for now i will directly change to the database you can do that from migration right so let's go to the message table uh, user message table and here the receiver id is uh, required right so we need to make it nullable this is not required anymore we either need require uh, receiver id or need message group id right so let's send this so we can send null value here <coughs> So now the sender ID would be auth ID and instead of receiver ID we need message group ID equals to request message group ID message equals to new message and then message message request message this looks good and then message if message got to save then we need to attach so this time instead of receiver id we need message group id and which will be message group id so this is the little changes right so this looks good and here we don't need receiver id so the content would be message message this is good and create it at so then the message id and also let's send group id as well message group id and the type would be type would be true for the group message and now uh, this is our private message event we need to make another event for the group message so let's create a new event here for the group message make event group message event right so this is the group message event and this should implements should broadcast don't forget to do this should broadcast right so here we define our data just like we defined last time with the private message event and then here and this data would be data so the, the channel name should be now we, we we need to use a new channel so since this would be the uh, private sets uh, not this is not a private set so i will use channel simply the channel and the uh, channel name would be group channel group channel right so looks good 
so let's go back to the message controller and instead of private message event we need to use group message event uh, my respective class for group message event uh, has been already added so here I have already added that so make sure you also added this right so everything looks good so let's go back to the our index page of the group message so when you send message now this should go to the uh, another route then message dot send send group message and let's define that in the web.php file so this time this would be send send group message and this would be send group message just make sure the function name is correct not here yeah that is correct so <coughs> so let's go back to the index file this is append a uh, message to sender so append message to sender this function should be completely the same nothing difference here right so at the receiver end we need to address uh, something right so the name would be not friend info name the uh, the name would be something else so for that we need to use message dot sender name since our message holds the name a record for the sender name and for image uh, I'm going to make it blank for now we can add logic here later no problem so everything looks good let's check it out first let's go to the mm, friend info is there still friend info variable so here is the friend info variable so We didn't really need it here. Just leave it out. And yes. And now, so we can switch the group from here. This is group uh, three, and this would be group four. Uh, you can display the slog here instead of ID, right? You can um, obviously make it better application. And. Uh, Let's send the message. Test message. So, yeah, this is uh, successfully saved to the database. Uh, let's check it out. Yeah, here is the user messages, and here is our message, right? This is group. Uh, yeah, this is the group info, no problem. So, this is the message we uh, recently sent. I recently sent, though. So, the message is sending the only thing remaining is we need to make it real time right so we'll we'll update the server.js file as well in the next video